primary function of the testes are to produce sperm. In high magnification, we can see that each testes contains many seminiferous tubules, which are connected at both ends to a collecting system. The tubules are lined with a layer of cells that from puberty to old age develop to sperm cells. Spermatogonia are the cells from which sperm cells arise. The spermatogonia divide by mitosis. One daughter's cell remains a spermatogonia and the other become a primary spermatocyte. The primary spermatocyte divides by meiosis to form secondary spermatocytes. Testosterone levels will raise at puberty. The high levels of testosterone induces the germ cells division and sperm production. The secondary spermatocytes divide again to form spermatids. At the end, spermatids differentiate into sperm cells. In azospermia cases, there is a block in the sperm production. The block could be in the spermatid stage, or in the secondary spermatocytes, or in the primary spermatocyte. The histology section showed blockage in one of these stages. This we called maturation arrest. The second section shows blockage to all the stages. This case we called Sertoli cell only syndrome. There are many reasons which can cause asospermia, like hormone abnormalities, drugs, testicular trauma, infection, genetic, or for other reasons that we don't know yet. Sperm production is a highly controlled process. There are three major hormones that control the sperm production, testosterone, FSH, and LH. In normal conditions, the hormone levels are normal. Asospermic men usually have high levels of FSH that indicate testicular failure. In some other cases, they have normal hormone profile. Today we know more about human sperm production, and we know that testosterone is very important to the late stage of sperm production. In our researches and others, we found that testosterone blocked the cell divisions in the early stages of sperm production. To fix this problem, we need to reduce the testosterone levels for a period of time. In most cases, this will remove the blockage of the early stages. After the treatment, testosterone levels will come back to normal and the sperm production will resume. In the animal's experiment models, azospermic rats show empty tubules as we can see in the histology section. Suppression of the testosterone levels for two months in the azospermic rats increased the cell divisions. As we can see, the tubules are now full with germ cells. Sperm Hope Experiments Sperm Hope treatment has the same idea that we explained before but sperm hope treatment is 100% natural and has no side effects. This section is from the control group and it shows empty tubules. Treatment for two months with sperm hope increased the germ cells divisions and increased the sperm production. Sperm hope treatment has three stages. Stage one increases the number of spermatogonia stem cells by slightly reducing the testosterone level. Stage two increases the number of cell divisions in the early stages. Stage three is the final stage and it increases the number of sperm cells. What to expect after the sperm hope treatment? Sperm hope could increase your sperm count and increase the chance of finding sperm in the semen for IVF or ICSI. Sperm hope could increase the success chances to find sperm by the testicular biopsy that can be used by IVF or ICSI. We always recommend taking sperm hope treatment as a supportive treatment before doing the biopsy or surgery. You cannot take sperm hope if you have any heart disease, high blood pressure, or diabetes. Learn more about sperm hope at spermhope.com.